Hi guys, today we're doing a standing butt and thigh routine. You can choose to use weights or not. We're starting off with a basic squat and we'll do 25 reps. So feet are right underneath your hips. You'll hinge at the knees and the hips to act as though you're sitting back in a chair and then come back up. So you wanna keep your core engaged, your spine in neutral, chest lifted and proud. Inhale the lower, exhale up. Squeeze that bump each time you come back up to the top. I also like to think of pushing the booty back instead of bending at the knees. You wanna keep those knees right over your ankles and don't let them go past your toes. A few more. Plie squat. So you're gonna take your legs wider than hip distance apart. Toes are slightly turned out. Hold your weights in the center and bend at the knees to draw down and squeeze back up. So you're flexing through the knees and the hips to lower and squeeze back up to the top. Really squeeze. Again, make sure that the placement of your knees stays in alignment with your ankles and that your knees do not exceed your toes. Straight leg deadlift. So you're going to have a slight bend in the knee just so that they're not locked out. You're gonna roll your dumbbells down towards your feet and come back up. I'll show you from the side. So hinge at the hips to roll the dumbbells down towards your feet and draw back up. So you feel a little stretch there in your hamstring and then you'll lift back up. So again, think of sticking that booty out and then squeezing it back to center. Make sure you keep your core real tight for this one. We'll do a few more. curtsy lunge. So take your left foot and step it laterally behind you, hinging at the knee. We're going to do 12 on each leg. So stepping back behind you, make sure that that knee stays right over the ankle. And you'll feel this in your inner thigh and your outer thigh and your booty. Another side. So stepping that right leg back behind you. Keeping that standing knee right over the ankle. Now we're going to do a deadlift where we'll bend at the knee. So again, we'll roll those dumbbells all the way down, bend at the knee, hinging at the hips. So 
So I'll show you from the side again. We're going to roll those dumbbells down. Hinge through the hips to stick your bum back. And squeeze it back up at the top. Spine stays in neutral. We'll do a few more. Exhale as you come up. The last series, we won't need any weights. We're going to take our right leg out to the side and we're gonna do 20 lifts out to the side. So the left supporting leg, the knee can be slightly bent, core is engaged, maintaining your balance and you just wanna tap that toe. Now taking it to the back, we'll do 20 in this direction. Lift, up, 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 really squeezing. Now to the front. We're doing 20 in this direction as well. We're going to have a slight turnout on the foot to really target that inner thigh. Core is engaged, breathing. And now we'll do the other side. 20 in each direction. Great job.